Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. Today we are going to be reading some tarot cards for Chinese actor and actress Yang Zi and Tan Jan Su. Um, so first and foremost, I do want to apologize if I mispronounce the names horribly. I am so sorry, that is not my intention. Um, I'm, I'm going to try the best I can. Uh, with pronouncing their names as best as I can. Um, but yeah, remember to keep in mind that these videos are for entertainment purposes. And why is that? That is because we do not have Yang Zi nor Tan Jansu here to confirm nor deny that what I am seeing and how I'm interpreting the cards is resonating with them or is not resonating with them. That's not to say that they aren't resonating um but just remember to keep that in mind and to take what i say with a grain of salt or two or three or 87 whatever you want anyway with that being said let's get started on yang zi and tan jan su's tarot card reading so let's start with their current combined energy what is their current combined energy yang zi and Tan Jansu. We got the three of bats, the three of swords. Hmm. The three of wands. Okay. <clears throat> the hermit. Oh, okay. So I'm getting some mixed signals here, but let me get an oracle, a Pegasus oracle card representing Yang Zi and Tan Jansu's combined energy currently. Golden Spirit of Pegasus, three. There's a lot of threes here. Um, so immediately what I'm sensing with this three, three, and then this is card number three, Golden Spirit of Pegasus. Um, the yellow, the, all this yellow is representative of the solar plexus chakra. So there are a lot of thoughts here, um, and there's a lot of opportunities coming. I don't know if it's for both of them or just for one person, but it seems that there's a lot of opportunities coming for Yang Zi and Tan Jan Su. And so there is a little bit of a heartbreak here. Um, there's a little bit of not really sure what to do. And the reason why I'm seeing that there's a lot of opportunities coming not only is because of this, like all this solar plexus energy, but we also got the three of wands here, right side up, which is all about, you know, plenty of opportunities. There's a lot of opportunities, good opportunities coming for the two of them. This is their combined energy. But we got the three of swords here or the three of bats in this deck, which is all about feeling brokenhearted, you know, that heartache. Um, so I feel like there's some situation here that's going on where maybe one or two of them got offered some opportunities, maybe like another role, another acting role in like a movie or like another show or something. And there's something going on that's kind of s causing a little bit of a separation. That's causing a little And so there's a little bit of heartache. There's a little bit of thoughts of like, oh no, is this the end of like our thing, you know? Um, because I do know that they were in a production or in a show together. Um, but it seems that there's like other opportunities that are coming for one or for both parties where it seems that there might be a little bit of like some separation going on. Um, but we also got the hermit here where it seems like the two of them just have really learned so much from one another. They learn and they're still learning a lot from one another. The hermit is all about gaining knowledge, gaining wisdom and taking advice from other people. So it seems that the two of them can combined really care for one another. The hermit is ruled by Virgo and Virgo is a nurturing sign so there's a lot of nurture there's a lot of care here and i think that's where this heartache is coming from because the two of them really care for one another um 
but there's like some opportunities that are uh, arising for one or for both of them is what I'm seeing. And so there's some thoughts on like they're both of them are kind of in their heads and their thoughts of like what what should we do now? So things are they're like things are a little bit foggy. Their head is a little bit foggy. I'm noticing this fog. I'm noticing these clouds. So their head is in the clouds currently. Their brain is a little bit foggy. Um, and that's because it seems that there are some good opportunities here that are arising for one or for both of them. So that is interesting. Let me know what you think. If you are fans of Yang Zi or Tan Jansi, let me know if, you know, what you've heard or what you've read if if what i'm seeing in the cards is resonating with all of that so let's get started on yang zi's thoughts on tan jansu and vice versa what are tan jansu's thoughts on yang zi <clears throat> All right, so let's get some thoughts. What are Yang Zi's thoughts on Tan Jansu? Ace of Cups. Ooh. Maybe some feelings here. Some emotions. Um, or it could just be like a lot of care. Again, that Hermit card did show up. So, the Devil in Reverse. Some freedom. <clears throat> And the Four of Bats, the Four of Swords in reverse. Now let's get some cards representing Tan Jansu's thoughts on Yang Zi. The Three of Wands again. Opportunities. Mm. Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> Ooh, this card just flipped over by itself. Five of Wands. Okay, so with the way that these cards came out for Tan Jansu's thoughts and the way he views Yang Zi, maybe I'm getting the sense that Yang Zi is the one that's getting some opportunities coming her way. Um, and the reason why I see this is because we got the Three of Wands again, but this is representative of Tan Jansu's thoughts on Yang Zi. So he thinks that, like, you know, she's getting a lot of great opportunities coming her way, a lot of good challenges. You know, he sees that there's a lot of good challenges coming here for her to grow, to improve. Um, you know, the Five of Wands is all about challenging circumstances, but they will, they're good challenges. They are good obstacles that will help you improve. Um, and also, he sees here that. Yang Zi is very, she holds things and people near and dear to her. You know, again, that Virgo card, the the Hermit um, in the beginning of the reading showed up for the their combined energy. So he does think that Yang Zi is very protective of the people she loves and cares for, but also like her belongings and her possessions, you know. Um, so that's what I'm seeing for Tan Jansu's thoughts on Yang Zi. But now let's get into Yang Zi's thoughts on Tan Jansu. There's a lot of like love here. Um, she thinks that Tan Jansu has a lot of love to offer. And, you know, I don't want these videos to be for like all about like gossip or anything like that. If anything, I want them to be... Um, giving you know advice and that's why i always end the videos with cert like some positive advice or feedback for for whichever celebrity or celebrities i'm reading um and what i'm seeing here is that yang zi sees that or feels that tan jansa has a lot of emotional depth and a lot of yeah a lot of emotions to give to others he he does seem very caring, and she sees that. Um, and I don't think it's my place to really say if 
I see that the two of them have like an emotional connection. But the Ace of Cups is very a very good sign for, you know, just good emotions, you know, like whether that's romantic or just like a friendly connection um, or like a sibling type of like love, you know, like like a family related type of love where they love each other as family. There's there's just a lot of love that Yang Zi sees that Tan Jansu has um, for people. And she also sees that Tan Jansu is really freeing himself with the devil in reverse. It seems that Tan Jansu has had some like obstacles that have really tied him to like maybe maybe negative thinking, maybe like drug usage or like alcohol usage. Um, some kind of like lust some there's just some like things that yang zi sees that tan jansu is freeing himself of things that weren't really benefiting him and he's freeing himself of that and because he's freeing him, himself of that she sees that he's starting to love life he's starting to love people you know love interacting with people and stuff like that and that's beautiful um <clears throat> What I do also see here with the Four of Swords in reverse, though, is that she does, Yang Zi does see or believe that Tan Jansu overthinks quite a bit, you know, is a little bit mentally uneasy with the Four of Swords or the Four of Bats coming up here in reverse. This card is all about rest. Like, look at this little pumpkin knight resting. But this came out in reverse, so this is all about, like, she sees that Tan Jansu sometimes has a hard time resting, especially resting his mind, resting his thoughts. Um, she does see that. And maybe it's because he has a lot of emotions and sometimes they, he gets in his head um, a lot of the time. So that's kind of all I'm really seeing in regards to this. So let's finish off the video with some advice for Yang Zi and Tan Jansu. All right, let's get some advice for Yang Zi. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Hmm. The Knight of Pentacles, or the Knight of Pumpkins in this deck. The Two of Cups, <clears throat> Pegasus of Alpha Centauri. Ooh, lots of purple here. So related to the third eye, intuition, trusting herself. So we'll get into that. But let me draw some cards for Tan Jansu's advice. The Ace of Cups. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. The Eight of Bats in reverse, or the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Wands. Pegasus of the Eclipse, card 21, which adds up to three. So let's actually start with Yang Zi. So with Yang Zi, I'm seeing there she is very much a go-getter. I do see this with the Queen of Wands coming up here. Um, but it came in reverse, you know, and the Queen of Wands is the fire queen. She's very ambitious. She loves art. She loves music. Um... And she's very creative. But when this comes in reverse, all of this fiery passion and creative energy can easily become a little bit jealous. So the advice that I'm seeing for Yang Zi is to not really get jealous about things. Um, because she does have a high intuition. She really can't. She has that like sixth sense where she really can kind of read people very well 
and she trusts her intuition she trusts her gut feeling quite well so the advice that i'm seeing for her is to really trust her gut feelings at this time and to not let you know jealousy get in the way of the hard work that she's paying off the i see here with the knight of pentacles you know the knight of pentacles is a hard worker so the advice for her is to keep on working hard keep on taking steps towards her goals towards her dreams um, and towards accomplishing them and to not let let her maybe like her fire or her passion turn into jealousy which will then cause her to kind of like get sidetracked from her goals and from her her tasks what she needs to accomplish uh, because what's for her is going to or what's meant for her is going to be for her and she just needs to trust that and i'm seeing that with the two of cups here the two of cups talks about you know emotional pairs and emotional connected pair and so it seems that like maybe she see maybe she's like close with someone or she feels like there are some emotions here um that she's sensing from her intuition that maybe like there's there's more than meets the eye with her and someone else um and so the advice for her is to like just trust it you know trust that if it's meant if they are meant to be together or if they are meant to work together um collaborate together in some form or fashion that it's gonna happen you know things are gonna work themselves out and to not let um all that passion turn into jealous or envy um and and to just trust herself again um trust that if she is meant to work with someone or collaborate with someone or be with someone that it will happen um and but she should just like stay focused on her goals on her tasks on what she needs to get done for herself um at this point so that's what i'm seeing for yang z now the advice for Tan Jansa here is to continue learning to love himself and others. You know, the Ace of Cups came here, and this card also showed up for Yang Zi's thoughts on Tan Jansa. So there is that connection here where she sees that he has a lot of love to offer, and the advice for him is to continue offering that love to others, but also learning how to love himself and and to continue free freeing himself from any, from any self-limiting thoughts. You know that Four of Swords came in reverse for Yang Zi's thoughts on Tan Jansa, which she believes that sometimes he gets in his head a lot, which causes him to not really rest. Sometimes his mind is always running. So the advice for him is to continue being kind to himself and to know that, you know, the way he is kind and there for other people emotionally he can also do that for himself and to continue working on freeing himself and liberating himself from any self-defeating self-limiting thoughts um to really focus on the way he talks to himself and thinks about himself um and to continue working hard being resilient the nine of wands is all about that resilience staying tenacious being persistent you know staying strong um, yeah, it's a little bit difficult for him to kind of get out of his head, but he's already starting to free himself. There's already a lot of love here. And with this card showing up twice in this reading, there is a lot of love that he has for others and he can, and he needs to continue working on just loving himself as much, um, as he's kind towards other people. And that's going to help him, you know, free himself. So he just needs to keep on doing what he's been doing, keep on practicing that, keep staying strong. And a lot of opportunities are going to be well underway for him with card 21, Pegasus of the Eclipse. You know, he needs to find opportunities to see to see the beauty in the darkness. Like, look at this eclipse, you know, even whenever it's still being blocked, you could still see that beautiful light, that beautiful aura. And there's all this yellow. So he needs to really continue working on his thoughts, the way he thinks about himself and seeing that, you know, he came out of like dark moments in his life and he's resilient. He's strong. So he needs to continue seeing that there is beauty in darkness. There is beauty in 
unfortunate circumstances or bad situations, quote unquote, bad situations, right? So that's kind of all I'm seeing. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video or a thumbs down if you did not like the video. Excuse me. <coughs> ah, had to cough. I had a little thick tickle in my throat for like a few good seconds. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if you are a fan of Yang Zi or Tan Jansa and and yeah. Um, feel free to also drop in some commentary on some suggestions on who may maybe I should add on to my to-do list. The to-do list is quite long, so I'm so sorry if some of y'all are waiting. Uh, thank you so much for being patient with me. Uh, I, I post five videos a week and there's only so many videos, you know, of course I can do in one week. So remember to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and even sexually love and respect yourselves and others and stay hydrated. And also, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it. It would make me so happy. But if not, that's totally okay as well. You don't have to. Um, you know, just a little reminder. But anyway, with that being said, I will see y'all on the next video. Thank you. See ya. Bye.